prisoner oh. H.C. Gemini oh. 6. The Alas. Imperial Confinement and like Rehabilitation Committee has decided your sentence. You've already decided? You what do you mean? You were found guilty of no, 12 no, no. counts of finance You can't be serious. I know I may have made some slight infractions recently in my business dealings, but has been I don't really to your think cell. that we can't Open work around that. Surely we can come to some sort of agreement. In here? You are condemned to 33 years no. of content no, creation no, 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 no. on the planet Earth. Earth. In the second millennium, they must be living like savages. Transportation What's that? sequence initiated. Please, look. Target I've got a better idea. Uh, second. Use spaceship Earth year, sales. I'll find a derelict planet, serve out my sentence, no worries. You. No, please, wait. Where to begin? Where to begin with the supplies that we've got here? I suppose we have some quite basic things. Basic bases. We've got some bases. Everything needs a base. Like me, I'm based in self-doubt and the constant fear of not being good enough. But miniatures need them too. Obviously we have to fit them together somehow. You can just glue them together, but why not do something a bit more interesting? You can see generally on the box, they have the plastic that's included on the sprues and maybe a bit of basing compound around the edges. But it's not very interesting. We can do better than that though, and we only need some cheap materials. Cheap, but also easy to find. Although, maybe not on this desk. So let's clear our workspace up a bit. Get any sharp objects that we're not going to be using immediately out of the way. Put that knife to the side. Clippers, scissors, don't need the paints, we might be painting right now. Glue will come in later, what the hell is that? Good old PVA craft glue some random basing compound you could use sand or fine rocks, and some cheap acrylic paint. Good dollop of PVA, this is the main binding agent. You're going to be using this to hold everything together when it goes onto the base. Sprinkle some of the basing material into it. Take out any rocks that you don't want in there, anything larger. And I'm just going to use a little bit of acrylic paint as well. You don't need to do this, the only reason you might do this is if you've already painted a miniature that's glued to the base and you want to put this compound on the base. Once that's mixed together we'll find some other cheap, happy materials to just pop in on the bases. I've got some random plastic bits in this box, we've got some bits of cork, matchsticks, good old skulls and a paper straw. For this first base, we're just going to get the basing compound onto the base there. Doesn't really matter where it goes, because we're just going to be building on top of it. Then I'm going to take this paper straw, cut it down to the size of the base, and find the right position to pop that onto the base. The PVA will hold it in place as it says. Make sure the miniature is able to fit in next to anything that you're putting on top of your base. And as long as the miniature's not been primed or already been painted, don't be afraid to push the miniature down into the basing material to get an impression of where it will actually sit. Here's where we get the glue out. I've got some good old fashioned Revel glue. Everyone's familiar with this glue, it's the standard glue you use, but here's a trick you can use if glue ever gets stuck in the end. You just light a match, use the match to burn off the excess glue in the end of the nubbin, and then you've got a spare matchstick to use later. This is the main glue we'll be using to glue anything plastic down to our bases. I've just got a couple of good old skulls here from the skull box, glue those onto the base and then we can use our basing material around those. I really like building bases like this because you can differentiate one from the next. And especially if you're building units of five or 10, it can get very tedious very quickly building essentially the same model over and over. Just gonna use some super glue to glue some cork bits down to the base. Very simple, the simplest way you could possibly build up a base. Some cork from an old wine bottle and just glue that down onto your base with some super glue. Next, we'll take some matchsticks and use a little bit of super glue to glue these together to sort of form a plank that will stick down to one of our bases. But we'll let that dry on the side for now. Take our basing material and paint that around the cork that we've put on one of our bases. 
We'll offer the plank up to check where it will lie on the base and then slot down a load of our basing material. Pick out again any stones that you don't think fit the base you're going for. And then lay that on top. Same as the straw, the PVA will set it in place. And now that the glue is set on our little plastic skulls, again, just paint the basing material all over the base, working around the skulls, but it doesn't matter if you do get any on the skulls, you can use a damp paintbrush to dab any of the basing material, little rocks, bits of paint off. The bits of cork in a more creative way as well, you can just build them up gradually to create something like a dry stone wall. All you need to do is work off that base, dab some super glue on top, and gradually build up as if they were stones, like you would build a real dry stone wall, I suppose. Except we're using super glue. And when the super glue sets, it's gonna be absolutely rock solid and very easy to work that basing compound around. Oh, that's what it's for. Now we're gonna work on applying these principles to a larger base. I've got this Necron Doom Stalker that I've been working on for ages, adding little bits to it, but I've never got to just putting it on a base. So we'll take off any bits of the sprues that we don't want to be glued down, apply some plastic glue to the bottom and glue it down to the base. Here I've got a Skatari body that I'm gonna modify a little bit to look like the Doomstalker has slain him on the battlefield. I'm gonna take the torso and the leg piece and between them glue a few bits of random cut plastic to look like shrapnel has hit him in the chest may want to use some Tamiya Thin here, which we'll be using in a second, as it's a bit more precise to apply than the more blobby Revel nozzle. Gradually adjusting the little pieces of plastic in the torso with a pair of craft tweezers to get them in the position we want them to be in. We'll offer him up to the base to see how he lays in his position, and it's quite a good area he has good contact with the base so it'll be easier to glue later. Put the little head on him, added a little bit of plastic underneath the head so it lies back better. Offer up the arm piece again to see that that lies correctly on the base. And then just put around some little pieces, more skulls. You can never be without too many skulls. What I like to think when I'm putting skulls on a base is who was defeated in battle here before? What races or creatures fought and died and have left behind their skulls? Very easy to add little bits to a base like this, gradually building up detail, which will add more interest. More bits of cork, more basing material, anything you like. When you've got a bigger base, it's really fun to play around and experiment with different things because you've got a larger canvas to work with. Then we're gonna slop our basing material all over, get it everywhere that we want it to be, basically everywhere but the plastic. When you've got bits of stone, sand in the basing material, it can be a bit awkward to work into places. I would say this is an advantage that the store-bought alternatives have over making your own. But if you gradually, patiently work it into each area you want it to be, when it sets, it looks fine. Any skulls or anything that we put down, anywhere that we don't want that material to be, we'll just paint it off with a little watery brush. And there we go, there it is set. There's our little Skatari. I like to imagine as he was charging with his vanguard, they were all disintegrated and he was the last left with a mortal wound. Next, we're gonna be pinning our miniatures down now that all the basing material has set. For this, we'll be using some standard stationary paper clips and some pliers to cut them down to size. We'll also need a hand drill to drill the holes. Your average stationary paper clip is about 0.8 millimeters thick, so I'm using a 0.9 millimeter drill bit to easily drill through and leave some extra space for the pin. Then take some crap white paint you don't care about. I'm using Citadel White Scar here. And you can use that to give you an impression of where the miniature's pinning positions will lie. Simply wipe that off after you've got your positions. 
and then we can drill the positions in the base that we want our pins to go through. Nice and easy. I'm using these PCB drill bits, which are very sharp. They can be a bit fragile, but ideally you want your drill bit to go straight through what you're drilling through and not mess up anything on the base that you've worked hard on. Thread the pin through the hole to be sure it's going to go through when you want it to. Then you're going to want to drill the holes into the pinning positions on your miniature. Use a bit of super glue on the end of the pin to adhere the two together and then clip off any of the excess. A bit more super glue on the base where the pins show through and then leave those to set. Be careful to not lie these bottom down to set as super glue leaves a sort of white residue as it says. We're going to finish up any tiny little details with a little bit of PVA and some cork filling in gaps underneath feet if they're not completely flush with the base. And be careful not to drill through the foot, like me, when you're drilling your holes. Although if you do, it's not the end of the world. Spread over a little tamiya thin over the drill hole and it should, as it sets, smooth it out. We'll repeat this for the rest of our bases. And there we are. If you like this video, please subscribe. There's more content coming in the near future. And if you hated it, please also subscribe. I really need some company. I think I'm one bad batch paint away from making conversation with a unit of flayed ones. I'm so alone. Anyone to talk to, don't, don't, don't go. Don't go, please, come back.